So, it's Monday morning, and I'm recording a video. I know this was supposed to be up yesterday, but like, let's be real, it wasn't gonna actually happen. <laughs> Welcome to Narcy Net Switzerland edition. I'm going to start this off with a joke that I'm sure you heard because I don't stop sharing it with everybody. Ready? I don't get it. What's so great about being in Switzerland? Well, the flag's a big plus. Oh my god, that's the funniest joke I've ever heard in my entire life. So last week I was in Switzerland for this like window here makes me look angelic. Let me move a little closer. Oh, I'm omitting the holy light. Started in Zurich. Zurich is this like really nice German-esque, German-esque city, um, and it's got this humongous clock tower, which, fun fact, is the biggest clock face in the entire world. Bigger than Big Ben. Yes, I know. Then we drove from Zurich all the way to Switzerland. Switzerland. What am I talking about? Zurich all the way to Geneva. Welcome to Switzerland, where you can drive from one corner of the country to the other in two and a half hours. On our way, we stopped at James Joyce's grave, which is this gorgeous graveyard with like it's just, it's so well kept and there's all these flowers everywhere, it's really nice. Um, we also stopped at the Kaye Chocolate Factory where you learn how chocolate's made and then you go into this big room where you can eat as much chocolate as you want. We also stopped in this town called Gruyere and it's a medieval town and it's really, really, really pretty and yeah. Over the course of the trip I took videos everywhere so I'm just gonna do a quick little montage. <laughs> one like area where it's like a I mean it's a castle but there's this one part where like you can see it's really pretty and it's like really it's Switzerland and I'll show you a picture my dad and I spent a solid 10 minutes standing in front of it taking selfies and trying to get a good one then we went to my cousin's bar mitzvah which was really, 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 really great because I got to see all my family. So in case you're curious, the reason I was in Switzerland for a bar mitzvah is because my cousins moved to Switzerland a few years ago and I think Rachel might be watching this, so hey Rachel! She's my older cousin and in, what was it, like three years ago? In three years ago. Three years ago we went to Switzerland for her bar mitzvah, so um, it was really nice to see her and now it was her younger brother's turn, so it was great. My computer keys are so loud. So their synagogue is really cool because it's in Geneva, Switzerland. So it's like, you've got the French and the English and the Hebrew and it's like... <sighs> but the way that they do the Torah portions is that the Bar Mitzvah reads the Hebrew and then someone else reads the English. So I was, I had the honor of getting to read the English, which is really, really nice. But the Torah portion was quite an interesting one. Um, it was about uh, carnal relations. So, I was supposed to read the first four sections, and my aunt was supposed to read the last four. And the last four were the ones that really talked about the carnal relations, and the first four was just like, being faithful, blah 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 blah. Well, I get up there, it's my turn to read, and I read the first four, and then the rabbi tells me to keep going for the fifth. And I was like, oh my god. So I start reading it, and I get to the part about carnal relations, and it was like, oh man, this is awkward. So... I shot my aunt a really frantic look, and then she came up and read the rest of it, but, um, that was, I got to read about carnal relations in Switzerland. Check that off my bucket list. 
Then we took a train back to Zurich in, once again, two and a half hours. And, um, we stayed overnight. Then we get on the plane. It's about 45 minutes in. And then suddenly, they call for a physician. So my dad, like, runs up, like, because, you know, he's a doctor. My dad's a doctor. And he's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? Like, what, what can I help? What, what do you want me to do? And there were already two doctors up there, and they were like, just kidding, we don't need your help. We've already decided to land on the plane. So, we landed in Paris. And then when we land, we ended up waiting at the gate for like an hour and a half. And then they were like, just kidding, everybody get off the plane. All the flight attendants have food poisoning. So we were like, we get to spend a day in Paris. So we went to the Eiffel Tower, as you know, you have to do. It's unfortunate because it was like rainy and cold and cloudy so you know when you're up at the top of the Eiffel Tower you can't really see much of anything but I took videos anyway so that's about it for our like four viewers uh just so you know we are gonna start vlogging again except this time we're just gonna each upload a video once a week and next week I have a very special video in store for you <laughs> okay bye I don't think we're gonna be able to get Ha, 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 ha.